President Muhammadu Buhari has declared open the 2018 World Congress of the International Press Institute, urging participants to honor the concept of responsibility, responsible journalism, and the need to negate the practice of hate speech as well as the propagation of fake news. Our status correspondent, Ayobami Pashe, has more details. In his keynote address at the opening ceremony of the international media event, which held at the State House Banquet Hall in Abuja, President Buhari thanked the leadership of the International Press Institute for the choice of Nigeria as host of this year's Congress, saying the gesture is an indication that Nigeria is safe amid threats posed by acts of terrorism. In a world where the borderline between hate speech and free speech has become blurred, Good journalism matters. In an environment where fake news dwarfs investigative reporting, good journalism matters. For survival in an increasingly competitive field, good journalism matters. Good journalism promotes good governance. I therefore urge participants to give depth to the topic in your discussions and conclusions. The president used the opportunity of the international gathering to allow steps taken by his administration to make Nigeria a safe haven for both local and foreign investors. It is our pride that you are vision of professional journalism training institution in Nigeria has taken firm root. Your annual congress is holding in Nigeria during a period of global terrorism. Nigeria experiences the scourge through Boko Haram, which has been technically degraded and has no territory to hold anywhere anymore in its northeast operational base. The internally displaced persons are gradually returning to their communities in reasonable safety and security. The opening ceremony featured a panel discussion where some ministers responded to a wide range of questions, bordering on how the Buhari administration has fared in critical sectors such as the economy, agriculture and security of the nation. Look at the structure of our economy. Yes, and, and I'm sure um, our colleagues from the press, if you ask people what do you know about Nigeria, they'll probably say oil. In the, in the first five sentences about the Nigerian economy, we'll mention oil. But actually oil is only 10% of our economy and oil actually doesn't produce many jobs. So one of the things we had to do was to unlock the other 90% of the economy. And what's needed to unlock that economy is infrastructure, agriculture. You wouldn't say, think, you wouldn't mention Nigeria for agriculture, but actually agriculture is 25% of GDP. Would the common challenge of climate change, because of climate change, you have the issue of desertification, and even drought. Now, uh, uh, people, both uh, hiders and farmers, who are, and this affects most of the Sahel region, and both hiders and farmers within the Sahel region are moving southwards. Likewise, the same climate change is affecting even the south because of, it has a lot of climate change, you have the issue of flood and erosion. So it's, it's a matter which we have been dealing with and handling for quite uh, a long time. Now, what we should ask ourselves is what is the government doing about this? What are the immediate, what are the medium, what are the long term you know, solutions? The theme of this year's World Congress of International Press Institute is why good journalism matters, quality media for strong society. From the presidential villa Abuja, Ayobame Pache, reporting for Core TV News.